Hey everyone, this is Veronica. Thanks for joining me. If you're new, welcome. I hope you enjoy the content and stick around and subscribe. And for those of you returning, I'm grateful for you. Thanks for hanging out with me again. This is part of a four part series that I'm filming in May of 2021, a beach series. We have been in lockdown, if you will, or in our COVID caves for well over a year now. Restrictions are starting to lift, things are getting better, there's light at the end of the tunnel, and we're starting to dream about summertime, vacation, tropical resorts, beach time, all of that stuff. And so there are four videos, one that concentrates on fragrances that are coconut forward and remind you of that sitting on the beach with a coconut in hand kind of thing. There's a second one that is about fragrances that are resort or yellow floral heavy, those tropical flowers. Uh, this one here is going to focus on fragrances that are mostly on the suntan end. They might have some coconut. They might have a little bit of resort in them too. There's a lot of crossover with these fragrances. And the fourth category is focusing on fragrances that are reminiscent of being seaside or right at the water's edge. And they're more oceanic or marine in nature. Let's jump in. We've got a lot to review here today. I wanted to start off with a recommendation for a body oil that you can use underneath your suntan fragrances to sort of amp them up if you don't want to be too, too much in the suntan direction and want to lean a little bit more on the tropical end. There are a million of these that I could suggest, but the one that I have chosen for today is from Yves Rocher, and it is Manoy, the Manoy oil which is very tropical, a little sun tanny, really nice to layer with your sun uh, tan kinds of fragrances. I have one honorable mention here for the fragrances that I think probably should have gone in the resort video, but I'm not quite sure if it belonged there or here. And it is uh, Tommy Bahama's Island Life, a very inexpensive fragrance. I think I got this for somewhere in the neighborhood of $12 on fragrance net and it could easily have gone in the resort one but i put it here it has star anise peach blossom and vanilla i think there are other notes in here but that's what i found on fragrantica really nice a little bit ocean air no coconut um, that comes out of this more on the floral side with a hint of sunblock in it tommy bahama island life really light simple summer fragrance Another um, light fragrance that I had a hard time finding the notes for is from Anthropology, and the fragrance is called Surf. I found this, you guys, for like $5 or something ridiculous at uh, one of the rack stores and thought I should try it out. I really like this. It has a little bit of the Michael Kors uh, Wonderlust kind of thing going on. Maybe a little bit more with ocean air in it, a little hint of coconut. This reminds me, and it's this is one that I think is appropriate for very many ages. I could see very young people wearing this all the way up into very mature adulthood. Um, gives you some suntan vibe, but subtle and soft one that you would probably have to reapply during the day but an inexpensive super summer suntanny kind of fragrance surf from anthropology up next is one that maybe doesn't belong in this category but it does remind me more of sunblock than what it's called on fragrantica it's labeled as a floral aquatic maybe i don't know that i that i would classify it as that it's from Jill Sander and it's Sun Bath. This one gives me some uh, suntan vibes. You get water notes at the top. You also get cologne, which I have learned can smell either like watermelon in a fragrance or can smell a little bit like sea or ocean air mist cologne, C-A-L-O-N-E. Pepper and freesia and you get a lang, -lang orange blossom and rose in the middle musk tonka bean vanilla in the base i get for the most of this the life of this fragrance something like a very soft sunblock kind of smell maybe on the little bit more on the aquatic side like it says here but definitely has that sunblock um, thing going on in it 
Next is another one that could have easily gone in the resort video, but I have it here because it depends on the day, the weather, the humidity, and how it behaves on your skin, but it's Ellen Tracy's Bronze. This is considered an amber floral. It has a really interesting top note of lemonade, which I think is so cool. A little burst of lemonade, green apple, bergamot. So it opens up a little citrusy, but it's in the middle where it starts to give you a little bit of beachy suntan vibe. You get violet leaf, honeysuckle, orange blossom, and lily of the valley. In the base, it's heliotrope, amber, coumarin, vanilla orchid, and cedar. This is so pretty and so inexpensive. Another super, you know, affordable one at like $12 or $13 on FragranceNet. You can find this at the rack stores too, TJ Maxx, and Marshalls has this often. Kind of a cool bottle. Ellen Tracy, bronze, ones that I, that I would have never looked at if I hadn't been thinking about summer fragrances to add to the collection. Another one is from Bond Number no. 9, and it's Jones Beach. This is not your traditional beachy smell in that it has some other florals mixed in. It maybe could have been in the tropical floral you know, resort category one. It says that the top note is that cologne note, so like that sea spray, you know, watermelony kind of smell. In the middle, orange blossom, and in the base, ambroxan, white musk, and violet. But I think there's more in here that we're not seeing um, in these notes here. It does give you a little bit of sea, but it gives you also like fruit mixed with sunblock together, is how I would describe this. A neat fragrance, very different. Not your typical summer fragrance. This will be one that will be really interesting to wear this summer. Jones Beach Bond number 9. This next one is newer on the scene, I think. When were you created? Let's see. 2020. Yeah. It's from Ellis Brooklyn, and it's Salt. Love this bottle. Absolutely beautiful little blue bottle really neat this gives me a lot of suntan vibes a saltier suntan vibe you get a lang a lang and violet at the top now that i see that i can smell like violet leaf in here in the middle it's tiara and magnolia so a little bit of sweetness but this is still super on the salty side you get ambergris which gives you that salt feeling and musk and sandalwood this is a more like sultry summer fragrance, if that makes sense. It gives you the sunblock vibe, but with a little bit of sultriness, a little slight bit of like that seductive type of thing going on. The sandalwood is beautiful in here. Salty sandalwood with those florals. The violet comes through, the violet leaf. But I do get some sun sunblock-ish kind of vibes off of this, like on salty skin, if that makes sense. Salt, as the name of the fragrance, uh, leads you to believe. Aptly named. Next is another one that's made the rounds on YouTube, of course. It's Holidays by Mancera. I really like this. Um, I know it plays differently on depending on your skin chemistry. I think this is one also that behaves differently depending on the humidity in the air and the temperature. So it has different personalities depending on when you wear it. It has coconut and bergamot at the top. It is a beautiful opening. I think the coconut stays throughout most of the composition as it dries down uh, and mingles nicely with tiara flower, alang alang, and sea notes. So there's some saltiness in here as well as those sweet and floral notes. And you get vanilla pod, sandalwood, and white musk in the base. This is lovely, and it's a powerhouse fragrance. Um, it does last on me, on my skin. It starts to feel like it fades around five-ish, six-ish hours, somewhere in there. But this is another one. If you put it on your clothing, it lasts a lot longer. That's what I'm learning about fragrances. I like to put my, my fragrances directly on my skin to interact with me and my warmth, but I am realizing more and more that I need to just go on ahead and spray my clothing from time to time if I want the fragrance to last or to be more pure as it comes out of the bottle. Holidays from Mancera. Hard to go wrong with that if you like salty, beachy, sweet floral fragrances. Uh, next is another inexpensive option and that's Korloff Gold. It has also made the rounds here on YouTube. 
very much a sun blocky kind of uh, smell but it also has a nice warm floral scent to it you get coconut strawberry gardenia at the top how fun is that tiara flower frangipani and jasmine in the middle vanilla musk and cedar in the base this can be found for under 30 bucks if i'm not mistaken this huge bottle on fragrance net another sort of even though there's some sweet and floral in there it also has a little bit of a salty vibe and sunblockish nice uh, i hear this doesn't last long another one that we should probably reapply every few hours but at that price point and that size that's okay with me another one is a classic that everyone knows about already and it's beach walk by um in the replica line uh, maison margella this is very much um a salty coconutty beauty of a fragrance you get here in the top lemon bergamot pink pepper in the middle it's the middle is where there shines coconut milk a lang a lang and heliotrope musk benzoin and cedar in the base this is a nice salty beachy fragrance you do get a little bit of the ocean air the saltiness that that you like taste in your mouth when you have that ocean air nearby but you're also sniffing like the thousand and one fragrances of sunblock um sunscreen that people are wearing on the beach all of that sort of mixed together is what this smells like with maybe a little bit of floral in the distance as well beach walk uh, by maison margella in the replica line super uh, pretty interesting fragrance fairly long lasting okay who doesn't know about this next fragrance but there's different kinds of them okay so you have to get the right year this is bronze goddess look at that shininess Ding! <laughs> let's do that again let it blind you Ding! <laughs> this is the 2017 version amber floral at the top you get nice citrus orange ginger bergamot the ginger is heavy it's really like almost like a spicy citrus at the top in the middle coconut frangipani jasmine sandbok and that's where you get some of the sunblock kind of vibe here and vanilla cashmere wood amber and musk in the base this could have probably gone in the resort uh, tropical floral video as well it's one of those crossover fragrances depending on how hot it is outside how much you're perspirating um, and what the environmental factors are like it could smell a little more sun blocky or a little more tropical garden ish little hint of salt in there too beautiful reflective bottle yes a, a thumbprint magnet but gorgeous the 2017 version eau de parfum is what you want to get if you ask me the old fresh is nice too and the other versions are nice but that one is to die for okay the next one is uh, one that i just recently discovered and immediately fell in love i was at target and was looking for actually solo notes that target sells but came across mix bar at target and found this little gem get this in your collection it is coconut palm eau de parfum oh my gosh this leans a little masculine to me a little salty beautiful coconut mixed with like this clean deodorant spray scent together it's intoxicating maybe woody also i sprayed this on me at target and walked around and knew i needed a bottle and probably should go on and buy a backup of this has vanilla sandalwood coconut obviously coconut palm is what it's called woody notes musk salt and seaweed not a sweet fragrance at all definitely like i said unisex to leaning masculine but not so far over there that i feel uncomfortable wearing it and just this like woody clean slightly aromatic delightful coconutty dream what what and for i dropped my little thing <laughs> i dropped the little tester and for under 30 bucks i think i got this bottle for 20 something dollars if i'm not mistaken gorgeous coconut palm you need this 
I had a hard time finding the next one. Um, it wasn't sold anywhere in the U.S., none of the websites in the United States. And I heard Paloma Bernstein, hi, Paloma, talking about this one. I'll link her video down below where she talked about this fragrance. And I was intrigued. I watched her doing her thing. She has these great videos where it's like the, the first person point of view. And she's got these beautiful nails and this, this uh, intoxicating accent. You're listening to her. Um, and she talked about this gorgeous thing here. This is from Donna Karen, DKNY Coconuts About Summer. Love this wooden-esque top. I say esque because I'm not sure if it's real wood. Well, it looks like it. If not, it's pressed wood that has been formulated, like, you know, gone through the machine to look like real wood is what I'm trying to say. Lord, Lord, I can't talk today. This is such an interesting little number. Um, it does have a very slight suntanny vibe. It's called a floral fruity, but I think it's more woody and coconutty to me. You get coconut nectar at the top, magnolia in the middle, and then white musk in the base. I bet there's more in here than that. It's a little watery. It's a little bit like uh, if you've tried Maison Margiela replica bubble bath, that has, even though it's not listed as a note, it comes across a little bit like clean coconut. This has that same vibe. It's on the cleaner side, a little woody, a little salty, musky, not a sweet fragrance. So if you like girly fragrances, stay away. Oh, I forgot to tell you where I got it. I found this bottle, the last bottle at Kohl's. Just randomly went into Kohl's. Someone said they were selling out their beauty and fragrance products because they're gonna get Sephora. So you know me, I like a bargain. So I walked into Kohl's and said, let's see what's on sale here. I just like hunting sales. I'm just that girl. What can I say? And I came across the, around the corner and saw this one little bottle. And I was like, can that be the unicorn that I have been looking for? And it was. And I used my little Kohl's dollars and got this uh, fragrance. Absolutely like intoxicating in an interesting way. Now, let me say, I bet a bunch of you would find this really boring. You would spray this and go, eh, what's the big deal? But for me, it has just a hint of like weirdness that makes me like it. Hard to describe, but coconuts about summer, DKNY, and love, love this bottle. My last fragrance is one that actually doesn't remind me of sunblock as much as it reminds me of sitting in the tropics. I remember a number of times being like in Puerto Rico or on other tropical islands and literally just hanging out under the coconut tree and the smell of the bark of the uh, palm tree that had the coconut tree that had the coconuts, coconut tree, palm tree, the trees with the coconuts, you guys. Ooh. it is Beach Hut by Amourage. I don't know if I like or hate this fragrance. I'm not sure. In fact, I have a really hard time with the Amourage fragrances in general. Even the ones I think I'm going to like, I'm like, well, I'm not quite sure. But look, I love this little bottle. This bottle is just precious with the little magnetic cap. This one here, it's called Beach Hut. It's called a Woody Aquatic. That's the category. There's nothing aquatic about this to me. It is incredibly woody and maybe like a dark green, green, dark, woody fragrance. Top notes are mineral notes and bergamot. In the middle, it's driftwood and alang alang. And in the base, patchouli and cashmere. I think it's the fact that it's called Beach Hut that is very suggestive to me. And it evokes for me being near sitting under trees at the ocean, the saltiness of the ocean, the heat um, interacting with the material on the tree, the wood, and the scent that comes off of that mixed with a greenness, a greenness that you get in the tropics as the vegetation heats up anyway, like all of that combined makes me, this fragrance makes me think of that. So not a traditional one that would be in this video, but 
I'm putting it in here. What do you think? Do you have Amouage Beach Hut? And would you agree with me? If not, how would you describe this fragrance? Do you have any of these fragrances? And do you like them? Hate them? What do you think? Did they belong in this uh, video? Let me know. Share your comments with me down below. And remember to subscribe, please, if you have not. And you like this kind of content. Hope you all have a great day. Take care, friends.